Hello everyone, I am Patricia Zar from University of Sao Paulo. And today I will present the talk Female Dominance in a Male Dominant Sexually Dimorphic Primate. This work is a collaboration with Charlotte Helmerheit from University of Groningen, our former students at USP and Groningen, and with Gerrit Gord from Paheningen University. Well, in animal groups, we infer a dominance hierarchy when group members can be ordered based on a symmetry in the addict aggressive interactions. These formalized dominance relations are assumed to diminish costs of competition for limited resources. However, the mechanisms of formation and maintenance of these dominance relations are still a matter of debate. Dominance ranks may reflect prior individual attributes related to fighting abilities, such as body size, and or the history of self-reinforcing effects of winning and losing competition. Like for mammals in general, in primates, male-male competition for receptive females is supposed to have selected for larger body mass and canine size in males than females. And in line with the view that dominance is related to fighting abilities, in sexually dimorphic species, males are assumed to be dominant over females. However, intersexual competition has in fact rarely been investigated. From a different point of view, using a computational model, Helmer Heike and collaborators propose that the self-reinforcing effects on dominance relations may alter the nature of dominance between sexes. They propose that the proportion of males in a group or the sex ratio might change female dominance over males because when they are in high proportion, males will enter in conflict with other males more often and some will lose fights and sink low in rank allowing some females to defeat them in spite of their smaller body size. The positive correlation between female dominance over males and the sex ratio in a group has been confirmed empirically in psychopithecoids, namely in macaques and recently in vervet monkeys. However, understanding the contribution of the winner-loser effect to the variation in primate intersexual dominance still requires a broader taxonomic knowledge. This is important because phylogenetic conservatism might explain behavioral similarities in related taxa, as has been shown for several features of the social systems of the Cercopithecoidae. In addition, Helmer Heik did not test the proposed association, associated patterns of male-male aggression and female dominance. Therefore, in our study, we test the hypothesis that female dominance over males increases with sex ratio in robust capuchin monkeys, the neotropical genus Sapagius, a phylogenetically independent clade, and also test its associated patterns. Capuchin monkeys present a diverse of social systems and are an ideal case for testing the relation between sex ratio and female dominance, since dominance of one sex over the other is incomplete and there is great interspecific variation in adult sex ratio. In addition, their sexual, their sexual dimorphism in body size is large. In wild sapatos libidinosos, average female body mass is 2.1 kilograms and males is 3.5 kilograms. We test the hypothesis in long-term data on six groups of three wild populations of robust capuchin monkeys, Sapagios Negritos in Carlos Botelho State Park, an area of montane Atlantic forest, Sapagios Chantosternos in Nuna Biological Reserve, an area of lowland Atlantic forest, and Sapagios Libidinosos and Fazenda Boa Vista within the ecotone between the Cerrado and Caatinga. We studied two groups in Boa Vista, three in Carlos Botelho, and one group in Una. During the study period, there were changes in demography in rank and rank in the groups in Boa Vista and Una, and therefore we cut the study period accordingly for these groups, resulting in 14 group periods. In the three areas, we registered all decided agonistic events among group members, identifying the participants and direction of interaction. We generated a matrix of agonistic interactions for each group period and determined the dominance hierarchy according to average dominance index, which is the average proportion of winning from each opponent. opponent. Female dominance index was calculated as the average for females of the proportion of males they are dominant over. 
go into our findings. When we look at the individual hierarchies, we see that in only one case, a male was not the most dominant individual of the group. However, in four of these hierarchies, females were equally dominant to the alpha male in the group, and this happened in the three populations. Uh, these groups with tired relations in the alpha position were not necessarily those with the higher female dominance indices, but those with an adult sex ratio equal or above 30% in all the populations of our study. We then employed generalized linear mixed models to investigate the relation between the degree of male dominance and the proportion of males in a group uh, and the proportion of <laughs> the proportion of males in a group and male male aggression per total male aggression female male aggression per total female aggression we also investigated the relation uh, between male male aggression per total male aggression and female male aggression per total female aggression with the proportion of males in the group as a regressor as expected, we found a significant association between female dominance index and proportion of males in the group. We confirmed both male-male aggression per total male aggression and female-male aggression per total female aggression increased with the proportion of males in the group. And finally, female dominance index was significantly related to male-male aggression. In conclusion, we show for the first time that in groups of a wild neotropical primate, female dominance over males increases with uh, the higher the sex ratio in the group. We confirmed that there was more aggression direct directed to males, the larger the proportion of males in the group, adding evidence to the idea that more aggression among males allows females to attack low ranking males more often, leading to their higher dominance rel relative to males. Our findings contribute to the discussion about the plasticity of dominance hierarchies and the approximate causes of intersexual dominance relations. In behavior ecology, it's usually assumed that the structure of dominance relations is species typical and dominance rank is commonly inferred from assumed correlates of fighting ability, such as body size. But we show that this pattern is flexible and contingent to the adult sex ratio. In primates, the adult sex ratio has been shown to affect several aspects of primate behavior, including patterns of grouping and mating systems. We have added evidence that demographic factors alter power relations between the sexes as well. If you want to learn more, you can check the paper, please, or you can email me. I would like to thank the funding agencies and the research institutions that supported this long term data collection and the current study, the research team. And thank you very much for your attention.